去帮他Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Linda Israel. I'm so glad to have you here on Memorial Day. It is May the 25th, 2020, and we're going to make a journal live here. Thank you so much for being here. For those of you that are watching live right now, do say something in the chat. Love to hear from you. I do have a raffle going on right now. It's for 200 junk bucks. To enter, just type exclamation point raffle, and that'll get you entered in. Those junk bucks, those are virtual currency that once you get to 2000 you can redeem those for a coupon code and i think i owe a couple people some coupon codes been a little bit crazy around here i'm hoping to work on all my computer stuff tomorrow but you can check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks and you can see how many you have and if you have 2000 you can put in award exclamation point award and you can get your coupon code sent out um, do make sure that i have a way to contact you so if you are new to my stream you've not been here before you win a prize or you just want to keep in touch with me do go over to lindaisrael.com and create a user account and if you win a prize or something today make sure or a coupon code make sure that you send me a message say hey i created an account i was at your youtube live and then that way i know where you are those that donate if you do make a donation, I am going to have two journals. I've got a planner journal that I made using the Out to Sea planner kit, and then we're going to make live the Out to Sea creative subscription box uh, into a journal. <clears throat> If you make a donation, you can also set up an account on my website and they'll get you added to the YouTube donators membership, which gives you some free digital downloads and a discount in my shop. And if you are here today, let's keep the chat upbeat and friendly and helpful. If uh, someone has a question, put it in all caps and I'll do my best to answer those questions. Uh, thank you, Mary, so much for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am looking for a $35 for the one journal and if we get to $70 we'll give away two journals I also have some other prizes that I'll give away throughout the live stream not see Robin is a administrator here you also see a couple other administrators and I failed to look back at the list to see who was here oh Cynthia is an administrator of the friendly junk journal group as well as here in my live chat but if you have uh, some notes that I need to be aware of just make sure that Robin writes those down for me she is my right hand woman I am very blessed to have her in my life and very thankful so she'll take some notes and remind me of things that I need to do thank you Cynthia for your donation if you haven't checked out the friendly junk journal people Facebook group please do so love to have you come over there and join uh, it's a great group where you can just 
hang out if you want. If you have questions, you can share your questions. If you've made a journal that you want to show off, you can show that off as well. We do allow one self-promotion post a day. That means if you've got a YouTube video or a video you want to share or a product that you're selling, we only allow one a day every 24 hours. But otherwise, if you're just saying, hey, look what I made. And, you know, 20 minutes later, you're like, oh, I made this other thing. That's fine. We'd love to have that as long as it's not promotion uh, that has a link that says come to my thingy to do a thingy. Right. That's real technical. <laughs> You put together anything resembling Seaside Island theme yesterday, Julie? Awesome! Yay! Giovanna says, upbeat, friendly, and helpful at your service. Yay! Hey, Austin. Austin is another administrator of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. So thanks for being here. And Norella, Norella, the infamous Norella of Calico Collage, she is the one that helped me design this kit. I gave her some ideas and color schemes and said, I like what this thing looks like, but I want it to be our version. What do you think? And uh, she came up with this kit. So this is the planner journal. Oh, thank you, Norella. You're so kind. I love you. <laughs> hey, that voice, Patrick says. Patrick Allman of uh, Stop Doing Nothing is a friend of mine that I know here in Oklahoma. I've known him. Gosh, how long has it been, Patrick? Has it been 15 years? Has it been that long? Or about, probably. <laughs> so thanks for being. Hey, Sonia. Oh, my goodness. All, all my friends are showing up. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, Valerie. <laughs> so this is the Out to Sea Planner Kit. I only used the planner kit, some things from my stash, including rubber stamps. So it's not, I hope won't confuse you when I point out something. So this is from the planner kit. I don't have the print files for the official way that it's going to be physically printed yet, so I just winged it on my own computer. And I use the cover that comes in the planner kit. I use one of the pages for the inside. And then this is one of the collage pages that Norella makes. This is a one month spread. There's a couple of journal cards. This is the stencil from the April Artistic Stencil Club for 2020. So if you didn't get that and you want to try out my stencils for the stencil club, it's $19.99 a month and I have those in my website. You can place that order for the stencil club and then say in the comment field, hey Linda, I want April. I don't want to start with June. I want to start with April and I'll send that to you. I use the Tattered Angels that are from the Out to Sea uh, Tattered Angels kit. There's a set of six, and this is another element there. I use this. I don't remember if this is the roster or if this is the. It's it's a text background that I use here, and then I have this little Titanic stamp that I stamped on ivory paper and put over the corner. I just thought it kind of gives a nice little detail there. You know, with a planner, I like mine to be relatively flat because I'm usually just going to write, and I don't need a ton of ephemera in it but I did use a little bit this is from the kit and then I had some map pages if y'all are getting this kit definitely get you some maps um, you can send out to a couple of places they'll send them to you for free usually if you go to the uh, travel center near you I'm fortunate that I'm somewhat close to a travel center in Oklahoma so I can sometimes run over there and get a few maps Thank you, Rhonda says you will love the stencils. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, my husband's here too. <laughs> from the planner kit, from the planner kit. This is from the journal quartet. It's a little set of four rubber stamps. And this is the shell cube. I used one of those. And then I used my seashells stencil in the background and I use the deck from out to sea to make that coloring another one of the four C's oh thank you Teresa and Lori for your donation thank you thank you thank you the journal word again over here another one of the planner pages um, on this side I use some sheet music or uh, you know a hymnal book or anything like that it's a big sheet music you can also use your junk mail but I like the texture that has in the background and I use these little tore off pa tear off pages that you can get from uh, the Dollar Tree here in the United States and I use the depth rubber stamp and I stamped around the edges and I just thought that was kind of neat with that texture all the way around 
Hey, Angela! Hey! Uh, Angela is the wife of Patrick. I met Patrick first. And thank you, Margie, for your donation. I met Patrick first because I was a member of Toastmasters. And he's like, you need to meet my wife. But she's, she's you know, with our teenage daughter going to cheer competitions. So when she graduates high school, I'm new, I know you two will be, you know, best friends. And so we hang out all the time. <laughs> and we leave uh, Patrick to the side. <laughs> Yay! Thank you all for being here. It, make, it makes my day, especially I had a headache today. So I was telling Robin, I said, try to help me out in the chat to keep me on point and upbeat. Uh, here is another one of the pages that I made. This is from the kit, from the kit, from the kit. And this is the planner kit. Uh, thank you, Angela. You're so sweet. In the background here, I used a gel print. I had a gel print workshop here in Oklahoma on Saturday. Two of my favorite ladies that come down usually once a month, but we haven't seen each other since December, came down and we did a gel print class. So I taught them some techniques on gel printing. And while I was teaching them, I made a few prints. So I've cut them up and decided to use them in the kit and then of course this is also from the kit from the kit and then this was a scrap of craft cardstock and I stamped the from the fan and lobster duo I just kind of stamped it around the edge and I thought that gives a great texture another map here in the background and then a lighthouse from the kit you're very welcome uh so much thank you Rhonda thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you, uh, Beverly. Thank you so much. I, I'm hoping that my headache will go away because this morning I did go work out at the gym and they're painting. They're remodeled part of the facility and we kind of worked out at a back, back, back room, but I kept going outside and I don't know if that's why I have a headache or if it's because of the weather. It's been really, you know, up and down the past couple of days and my allergies are driving me crazy. But this is all part of the out to sea planner kit and I really love how this kit has come together it's exactly what I envisioned very nautical in nature you can get this as a physical kit it'll be printed on 100 pound cardstock for the elements and the cover and then it'll be like 24 premium laser printed pages that will come in the kit or you can get it as a digital download and that will be the planner that we'll give away at the end of this live stream all right let's see uh, okay, so I'm going to kind of get started here. I've got a few elements that are from the Out to Sea Creative Box, the subscription box. So I've gone ahead and fussy cut those out. This is a rubber stamp image. It's the lighthouse diagram. So I stamped that onto some ivory cardstock. And then I've got some other pieces of cardstock here. So what I thought I would do is I like this little image. And I want to make a little pocket on the back side of this page. I'll show you the other side when we get done. So if I look at this, I think maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe something like that. So if I tear this, and then I'm going to kind of line this up, and maybe like that. I kind of like that. And I think it needs something else behind here. And uh, I, I, I didn't do this. Oh, I know what I can do. I didn't do this ahead of time. Usually I spray some cheesecloth, but you know, Robin's getting fed up with my cheesecloth in the subscription box. You get some pieces of canvas and I thought, why not? I'll just kind of do this. So I cut it, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of fray that edge just by pulling some of those fibers. So what if we put this guy maybe like this? just for some texture back there. And I think we could probably colorize that too. So let's do that. I'm gonna lay it in my spray box and I'm gonna spray it with the deck from Out to Sea. And if you all have questions, do feel free to ask. I love to uh, hear from you. I'm just giving that a little bit of color. I'm gonna dry it with my heat tool. Oh, thank you, Rhonda, for your donation. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, drying that. So how have y'all been? Did you have a good weekend? I have been busy, 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 busy. I, um, I had to finalize the subscription box content, if you will. And part of that was 
Henry was cutting out some chipboard pieces for me so that I could have those. Finished di designing the stencils that were going to be in this kit. And then, of course, just selecting all the goodies. So I'm hoping that I can show you a few of those goodies today. I'm going to go ahead and add some Distress Inks to the edges of this. Like Captain Ron Cheesy. You think he's cheesy? <laughs> Uh, I do have a Captain Ron I, I stamped. Maybe we'll use him here in just a moment. If I remember where I put him. <laughs> I was trying to come up with different things to use in this journal. You know, I show you all techniques every week. So it's, it's kind of hard for me to see, okay, what do I want to do differently? Uh, yes, we have had some rain here. It's been a drizzling, kind of misting all off and on today here in Yukon, Oklahoma. I'm kind of glad because it's kept the temperature down and it's watering my lawn and garden and whatnot. Oh, thank you so much, Kim, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I don't have to go out there and manually water. I think I may have to water a couple of pots. They're kind of under the eave of my house so they don't get a lot of rain there. All right, so we've got this guy and this piece, and then we're going to put that and I know it's not a whole lot of texture, but it's just a little bit of texture. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. Like so. Oop. Okay. And I'll put this right there. So yeah, I worked on my kit in a stayed busy with that workshop on Saturday. So I didn't have a weekend. <laughs> I was working all weekend. So when I went to the gym this morning, uh, I get a stretch on Mondays by a professional there at the gym. And she goes, well, what did you do this weekend? Did you do anything fun? I said, I worked. <laughs> I said, let me think. Yeah, I worked. I worked Saturday. I did a workshop and that went really well. I was so blessed to see those ladies because I haven't seen them in a few months and they bought a bunch of stuff. So I was like, yes, I can pay my bills. <laughs> so it's it's been a good, good weekend. I just stay busy. I'm going to take kind of a day off tomorrow from the craft business and go out into my garden. Hopefully it's not raining too much. I am uh, making a new planting spot. I've kind of recruited my neighbors to help with it. It's between our property and their property. And I kind of said, you know, Hey, why don't we, um, why, why don't we do this over there? And so she was like, okay. And then I said, well, here, here's what I've got. And then I set her to task to start it. And then Henry's been working on it. So I haven't had to do as much labor as I thought it would. <laughs> I'm like, yay, thank you all. <laughs> all right, so I've got the ship to shore. There's a cube set. And then I had this little scrap that was laying here on my desk and it happened to have some ivory white space, if you will. And I like the little lines below because it's the... Uh, kind of the legend not the legend the graph that goes around your map so you know what grid you are in so did y'all know that you have to have a grid yeah margie says yay for paid bills i agree <laughs> does anyone ever have their blending spudge the velcro to the blue loose yes i have <laughs> You, it has done that. I've had it happen on two different ways. I've had it happen where this just disintegrate, disintegrated, and then I've had it where the um, Velcro just came off of the little dauber. Here in the United States, though, we could, um, I could add more Velcro to it. You can buy it in the stores, Julie, so I don't know about you. So that's what's happened to me because I use mine a lot. All right, let's see how this is going to work. What if I put that right here? I was going to put it on here, but I think I like that up at the top. So I'm just going to glue this down. So basically, I've just made a tuck spot on a book page, like so. And then let's do something over here. I've got this piece. I think I'm going to put that in there. Or would this one work better? Yeah, I think that one. Because then we've got the ship 
the ships and the ship to shore. All right, so over here, I've got this little piece and I'm thinking I'm just going to tear this one right down the edge. And that's going to go over there, but it's a little plain in the background. So I could use another piece of the canvas. I do have a navy piece of canvas. You get this in the kit. You get two squares of navy canvas. So I think I'm going to snip it like this and then I'm going to rip it. Okay, easier said than done. I must not have it in the right. Ah, there we go. I'm stronger than that. <laughs> All right, so I've gone ahead and just ripped it. And I'm okay if it pulls and it has some frayed edges. And I think I want to rip it again up here. Sponge to have it. Yeah, so you just probably need a new sponge. Just throw it away, Julie. <laughs> You can usually get those in uh, large kits. Okay, for some reason, this is not tearing, so I'm just going to cut it, and then I'll fray the edge. Just pull those fibers, and you get a little frayed edge. Okay, so what if we put that, and then this? That's kind of a cool look, isn't it? You like that? All right, so I'm going to put some distress inks on this guy, and we'll glue this together. <laughs> Toothy bits, technical crafting room. Exactly. <laughs> you just found some little chair leg cushions at a yard sale, though I should really be ready for dauber emergencies now. Oh my. You got a few? <sighs> okay, so I'm going to glue this together. I just like putting a little bit of glue down on my piece. Sometimes I'll put little dots on fabric. Just put that right here. And if I need a little bit more, I'll... But I think it's kind of cool that it's lifting in some areas. All right, and then this guy's going to go right on top. Okay. And then we'll put this over here and make that a little tuck spot in the corner. Yeah, if you got to start again with the old one. You like the fray? Thank you. You like the frayed edges? That's why I like the cheesecloth because that frayed edge is what you can get. But you can also do that with a little piece of fabric. You're just going to have to pull at it and then you get the little frayed edges. Now, my friend Phoebe would be like, no, Linda, you have to trim all those threads and it has to be clean and there can't be this frayed edge going on. <laughs> okay, I like that. This is going to go in here. And then I'm going to make one of these. I made one earlier, but I thought I'd make it live. In the kit, you get these little tickets. So I'm going to take this ticket and fold it in half. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Distress Inks and go all the way around and on both sides. And then I'm going to take a scrap of paper, move this out of the way for a moment, and I'm going to use my blending tool and just go right on top. Do this again. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going to take the I don't know if this is the ship's roster or the crew roster. There's a couple of different ones. And I'm just going to stamp it on top just for some texture. Okay. Then, and then, I'm going to get a scrap of ivory cardstock. And I've got at sea small. This is a very small stamp, and I love it because it's just the right size to add a little accent. I've stamped it with the archival ink, and I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this out real fast. Cheesecloth! Robin's like, I don't like cheesecloth. <laughs> so I go ahead and fussy cut these out. You can be as precise as you like. I try to go in pretty quick. I like these scissors by Fiskars because I don't have to put my hands in the, the loops 
to operate it, I can just go ahead and cut it out. And now, move this over here. I got this guy. I'm just going to apply some Distress Ink. So that's going to go on there. That's a little, you know, where you can't uh, distinguish. But I think I may have something. What if I were to put a little square right behind that? That kind of brings that out. And then, what if... Let me see what I have here. I have some postage stamps. They also come in the kit. So I just put some random postage stamps in here. And I think we could get away with kind of doing it at an angle. So I'm going to apply some Distress Inks to this square. It's what was left over from cutting up a gel print. And I made some strips for a belly band. So these were just little squares that I had left over. Good to use leftovers. All right, so we're going to glue this down. Oh, I'm sorry, Teresa. I try to remember to sign them, but I'm glad you got it. Yay, I'm so glad you got it. You, Giovanna, you like cheesecloth? The same estate sale had zip, lace, zippers, fabric, cheesecloth, and three rolling storage carts for twelve. Oh, wow, Lori, that's amazing. I like those kind of deals. I don't get out for them, though, because I don't need any more stuff. I may want more stuff, but I do not need more stuff. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put this guy. I'm just going to put him at a diagonal, I think, on there. It's okay if he sticks out a little bit. Okay. We'll put some cheesecloth down in a little bit. So basically, I'm making... Do y'all know what I'm making? I'm making a t page tab, y'all. Okay, so we've got that. And then when we fold this over and you put it on the page, you've got the two different sides. So I'm going to move my card out of the way. And I'm going to take this guy... I don't want it to come out super far, so I'm going to glue it where it's just kind of barely sticking out. So it's mainly kind of on the page. So I'm going to put glue on this side. Glue on this side. Again, I'll just kind of come in here. I want it sticking out just a little, but not a whole lot. And then I'll fold that over. Okay, make sure I didn't get my pocket. And then this side had a colorful picture from a picture book. This comes in the subscription box. Just random pictures, uh, pages. And I just love the color of that. So I thought that would be perfect. And then this will go here. But before I finish, I want to punch a hole. So I'm going to get my little bitty hole punch. Actually, I want... Well, this one will work. I want a smaller one. Let me see if I can find it. I don't have it anymore. Okay, we'll use this one. So this is like an eighth, I think. I'm going to punch a little hole on that bottom corner. And then, y'all, I don't use these normally, but I am today. I've got in the little kit some sequins and beads. You know, y'all get on to me. I don't ever use the embellishments. So hey, I'm using them now. <laughs> so that will be on that page. So when you get to it, you can see the card. And then on this side. You like it? Pockets for special ringies. <laughs> A triple pocket. What is the image on the postage stamp? It is a crane. It's a crane. You see it? It was just something that I had. I had a thousand postage stamps. So I've been divvying them up to the subscription box this time. Because I thought they would be really good. Alright, so there's a page. I made one! Yay! <laughs> Robin says, Dang! <laughs> you love it. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, Norella. Thank you, Lori. All right, y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already. You love sequins and beads. So, yeah, you get um, 
We'll move the postage stamps all the way for a moment. You get all kinds of sequins and beads and little charms. You get uh, paper clips you can use. You get brads in the subscription box. You get lots of goodies. Love the dangle. I know. I just don't use it. I forget. All right. So let's go here. I've got... I've got some pages here. So this is something else you get in the subscription box as well. You probably can't see it, but it's a green linen textured, uh, what is this, Co a copy weight, if you will. It's just fancy paper. And then you also get this blue. So you get four sheets of each. I decided to be really generous with the paper this time. So I've also got a notebook page that I took out of a composition notebook and I've trimmed it down to be eight and a half by 11. So let's use some stencils and some tattered angels and we'll decorate these pages really fast. I have not shown what's in the box yet I have a video that I'll have out tomorrow I've recorded the video I just didn't get it edited to upload so that'll be out tomorrow yeah lots of blue goodies lots of blue goodies I have not sent out the prizes from be week before last yet Raven that's what I plan to be doing tomorrow yeah it's a great way to do page tabs you know that was a ticket shape but you could just use a scrap of paper and fold it in half. I made another one earlier, so I've got it ready to use in the journal again. All right, so I'm going to lay down. I think I want to lay down. This is the fancy paper. And let's use the net stencil from the April Stencil Club. And I think I also want to use, I got that one. Aha. Uh -huh. I know I want to use these, so I'm going to get them up on top. Okay. Yay! All right, so now I'm going to get some tattered angels here. Sorry, guys. I've got the blue that comes in the kit that I apparently put down somewhere. Oh, here it is. So it's a real pale blue. So I'm going to do that over. And then I'm going to add... A little bit of the blue skies I may change I haven't officially got my order yet so I may change one of these colors I kind of like that it's just a subtle color to it I'm gonna use a piece of copy paper to mop it up and the only reason why I'm doing it this way is I would use the notebook paper but I don't want the same pattern one right after the other so that's why I'm kind of not going to use that in this journal. I'll use this page in a different journal. So that was a mop up. That's spraying it through. I feel like my camera's off. Okay, there we go. It's like not in the right angle. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. Because I, this paper is a little bit thicker. All right, so I'm going to use the same blue. All right. Thank you, Margie. I don't know what it was, but I need to know. But I think I owe you a coupon code. <laughs> I owe a couple of people coupon codes. I'm hoping to do that. All right, I'm going to do one more page. And I spray the back sides of these because when I go to use them in the journal, it's already kind of started with a decoration. All right, so that was the the small net that comes in the April Stencil Club. You like that texture? I'm gonna set that aside to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the copy or the uh, notebook paper. And this time, oh yes. Oh, I haven't used that stencil. Oh yeah, I'm going to later. Okay, this is the sailboats stencil. I thought it was a fun stencil. Um, let's make them yellow. You know, I think I haven't used any yellow this time around, so I'm going to use some yellow on here. You like the stencil? Thank you. You like the net? That's from the April Stencil Club. Sitting at the screen. <laughs> I think that would be good. Some yellow. Some little yellow sailboats. I'm going to go ahead and mop it up. It's 
kind of this two for one I like. I may have some other color on the stencil from using it before. I don't ever wash them off except when I gel print. Okay, it was good. It didn't have a lot of color on it. I like that yellow. And then here's what it looks like after it's gone through the stencil. All right, I'm going to flip this over and spray the back side a couple times. Yeah, you get, a, you get a stencil on the creative boxes. Yeah. Thank you, Janice. All right, so there is that page that I just made. Set that aside for a moment to dry. And then I've got this one. So I think I want to use... Okay, now I'm going to use the... This is the half sheet that comes in the stencil club. And I was trying to figure out the best way I want to do this. So this is my prototype that Henry cut for me. I think I want to go with a little bit of a darker color. So I'm going to go with the, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of this brown. Thank you, Raven, for your donation. Thank you, Barb, for your donation. Janice, Kim, Rhonda, Angela, Margie, Teresa, Lori, Lu Norella, Cynthia, and Mary. I think I really appreciate it. You like the yellow, Norella? Cheery! All right, so I'm going to spray the deck on here. And I'm doing it on both sides. But I also am going to spray the blue skies, I think. Yeah, let's do blue skies. And then I'm going to grab another sheet of paper and mop up. And it should give me a, a neat page in the mop up and, of course, on the other page that we initially sprayed through the stencil. All right, so there is the lighthouse. Kind of has a brown green background. You could write over it. Left it white where the um, rope and the lighthouse were. That right there for a moment. And then this one, we went through the stencil, so we got a whole different idea of look. Oh, Robin, you donated prior to the live. Thank you, Robin. I didn't see it, so thank you. You love the rope design, Norella? Thank you. Blue sky smiling me, nothing but blue skies do I see. <laughs> I sang, okay? I had to find I had to find the right words. You love it? Thank you, Julie. So now I'm just spraying the back side to give it a little bit of color. So that stencil is in the subscription box. All right, now I've got three pages that I've showed you the mop-up technique, if you will. And so let's dry them. And then we'll decorate them. I need to do the uh, raffle. I got sidetracked. You just bought the Unicorn Magic Journal kit. Oh, cool! Yeah, you want the you want the the bigger size? Send her a message through her store, Rhonda, so she'll has it. So she'll have it. That way she can reply. I love that kit. It's pretty. By the way, I have a unicorn stencil in my shop, Rhonda. <laughs> I gotta sing it. I love how this one turned out. Okay. All right, now I've got the splashing anchors. Splashing anchors, you get it? The anchors have splashes. <laughs> All right, and then I've got the uh, Distress Oxide. Let me find my Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm going to do, let me get a little scrap of paper here. My pile of stencils is getting deep, y'all. I think I want to do that. I don't want it right on the edge, but I'm going to get really close. I 
And so that is on the corner, how you can just add a little detail with the stencil. And again, this is the Splashing Anchors stencil. And if you want, you could do the whole page. I just thought it'd be fun to do the corner just lightly. I'm going to do it on all sides. I was trying to find tips that I could do, and I just did it again. I forgot the raffle. <laughs> Squirrel! I got to do the raffle! Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm going to give away uh, 200 junk bucks, and then I have a little prize. I'm trying to decide which one I want to do. Okay. Got it. That's what I want. I wanted to make sure I use that stencil. Okay, so... Let me grab, where is it? Ah, here we go. Okay. Deep pile steeples in a deep pile of something else. I, yeah, that's for sure, Margie. <laughs> You're itching to buy some things, Julie. You know, save your junk bucks, right? YouTube kicked you out, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, good. Norella saw your message, Rhonda. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to go to the giveaway, and the winner of 200 Junk Bucks is... Valerie! Valerie! I'm so glad we communicated, because so now I have your correct address. <laughs> Her prize came back, and I was like, okay, this is what you sent to me. And she's like, oh, yeah, that was a typo. All right, so now we're going to do a... Fitch journal card. All right, so I've got a journal card that I made. I have these pictures from a book. You get some in your kit. So I have these pictures from a book that defines all these fish. And I cut them out. And I used some cheesecloth. <laughs> I used some cheesecloth. And I rubber stamped the anchor. And I rubber stamped the word nautical. And I used the um, shabby stitches that has the multiple different stitch lines. And just stamped all the way around. Doesn't it look like I sewed that? And it's just so simple. And used some cardstock that I had in my, my stash for the background. You're welcome. All right. So I think I got that one open, right? Did I? Did I hit open? Yes. Okay, good. So that is the next prize. All right. So I have added that detail down there. You know what could? I don't see why not. Well, let's double up on the anchor. So I've got the anchor stamp. And let me find my block. And I think I'm just going to kind of mirror. Yeah, like that. I like it. I'm going to tilt it over there. Tilt it like that. And like that. Just adding a little bit to there. Alright, so then up here at the top, I've got Another one of these um, tabs that I made. So let's put it. Let's put it right at the top, and that decorates this corner. How's that sound? But before I do that, let's go ahead and stamp in the background. I've got that ship's roster. I think that's the one, and I may have it upside down. No, yeah, I didn't have it upside down. Over here on this side. Okay, and then I'll glue this guy right here and we'll put another dangle on there yes i did open the rattle sometimes i didn't think i'd opened it <laughs> robin really wants that <laughs> yeah use a net step she is cloth <laughs> all right i'm gonna go ahead and punch this before i glue it down it'll be easier to get in there and we're gonna put some glue on here And we'll glue that right up here. But again, I don't want it sticking out too far. I'm just going to go basically right where I punched the hole. Okay. 
like I said, it was one I made earlier. I didn't pick out a bulb pin yet, so let's do that. And I'll pick out a couple more sequins. I think I like this lighter color, yeah. And I just went ahead, there's several beads in here. I just picked up like three beads to kind of help, well, I can't get a hold of them now. The sequins keep getting in the way. Uh, to kind of space things out. So I got one bulb pin, grab a bead, whatever color you like, grab a sequin, and I put them back to back so that they're not going in the same direction. They're back to back. They have a curve texture to them. Okay. And then I'm just going to poke that right here. What do you think? It's getting there. It's getting there. All right. And I've got, okay, this is a little ship. Oh, let's do that. So I've got the ship and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the water below. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Thank you so much y'all for being here. I really appreciate it. Put cheesecloth. <laughs> we got to put cheesecloth on it. All right, we'll get a little cheesecloth to put the ship on top of. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to grab some cheesecloth. I've already used the stash that I made today, so we're going to make a little bit more. And I just grab a little bit. I like to go ahead and separate it because when you go to saturate it with the Tattered Angels, sometimes only one side will get coated. So I'm going to lay that in here. I've got the blue skies that I'm going to spray first. And I've got deep sea, which I think is my favorite color. And I've got a little bit of deck. So got to make sure I shake that up. It's a little brown. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. And I'm going to come back with the deep sea. And I want a little bit of green, so I'm, this time I'm going to grab the Hemlock Green. Garden Green would be another color I think I have in my shop. Um, just, a sh just a light green. You could also use Blarney, even though it's really a brighter green. I'm going to use my heat tool and dry this. You want to make sure that you don't, um, uh, you don't uh, end up with this too hot that it catches on fire. Yay, cheesecloth! Yeah, a net stamp or the, uh, I've got a, a fish net stamp and it's really, you know, like hosiery fish net, but I think it would also work as a net background too. Okay, it's almost dry. It's kind of vintagey looking. Cheesecloth is such a fun thing to play with. I don't know why Robin doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a poor man's lace. That's what I call it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just snip a little piece and then kind of pull it. And then let's glue this down. Put that on top. Kind of sticking it into the glue. And then we'll glue this right on top of it. Like that. What do you think? You kind of see the water in the background. Like it all goes together, right? All right. So over here, I think I've got the, uh, the little lighthouse postage. I think that would be cute. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this one as well. I think this time I want to use the, the Atlas stamp. I kind of get in a rut where I use the same one over and over. I have all these stamps. I need to be using them. And I think we'll just put that right here in the middle of that. I need to find my lace. Yeah, it is much cheaper than lace. Much cheaper. Robin wants me to find my lace. I'll, I'll get in here one of these days and find it. It's in a box or something that I cleaned up one day. All right, so there's a page that we made. Get a drink, and then let's get the next one. Ah, 
I think let me, I'm going to fold the page just so I can. All righty. How about we have anchors away? Oh, wait, what do we got here? What about these sayings? Sailing off into the sunset. Um, I don't think that one fits this time. There we go. Let's use those on here. A smooth sea. Never made a skillful mariner, I think it says. Hey, I remembered. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to read backwards. Let's put that one over here. Sailing off into the sunset. Okay. And then what do we want to put on this side? Okay, so we can kind of see through here. And sometimes what I like to do is put something over it. I happen to have a little strip of cardstock here. And I wonder, nope, that's not small enough. But I could do celebrate the journey on one of those strips. Do it closer to the edge. There. And I'll cut that. Thank you so much, Manda, for your donation. Yeah, coupon codes does not work on subscriptions. Love anything with nautical thing, Luana? I do too. It's fun, isn't it? Okay, I like that. Let's put celebrate the journey across there. That looks good. This is a thinner paper. All right, so what do we want to put over there? How about... <laughs> I've got this little guy. Maybe we can do something like, and it kind of looked like a pennant. Yeah, let's do that. So, scissors. All right, I'm going to take this and snip and snip. So, making a little embellishment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my Distress Inks on it. I'm on it! I think we should use some cheesecloth or this navy fabric. Maybe the navy fabric. Okay, so we're going to put that on here. I have a little strap, a script, a little strip here. Now, do I... Put that down. I think what I need to do is kind of fray this edge. Okay, and then this edge needs to have some fraying. And I think I may want to bunch that up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to put a little glue down. I'm going to put some glue on here. I'm going to squish this up on here. Okay. Fabric! And what if we put just a little... I think I like that. Just kind of adding a little bit more texture. Y'all like your texture. I'm not a texture person in my journals. I do it on artwork. And we'll put that on top. Yeah, I need more hours in the day. One folio for each journal kit. Oh my goodness. 
She doesn't want you to ever rest. <laughs> All right, I'm just kind of tweaking the cheesecloth out just a little bit. And then we'll put this right on top. Okay. So we've done really simple, which is just stamping, and then we've added words on other pieces of paper, did some more stamping and layering of elements. What do you think? Easy? Like that? Okay. Cheesecloth looks like ocean waves or fog. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Okay, so that's two. So now let's do this one. I think, oh, let's use this little stamp. I've got the little at sea stamp. So I'm going to put it down here. It may look silly, but <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and I don't think I need to put anything on this side. Maybe ship to shore. Let's do that. We can put that across here. And then let's go over here. I have this um, sea captain's log, I think it is. What if we were to put that? Yeah, maybe like that. And just have a little tuck spot there. And we can put a journal card in. I may even figure out a rubber stamp that I could use. I mean, a postage stamp. I like that. And I'll go down this side and across. And then I saw this postage stamp. Yeah, let's do that. So it kind of gives a little collage feel to that. This card will go in here. Oh, wait, no. I think I want this card. That card can go in there. Let's do a uh, near the sea. Let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna put that right up here. Yeah, near the sea, we would forget, forget to count the days. You like it? This was a rubber stamped image here, and this was from the kit. Easy peasy. All right, now, what are we going to put on this side? Oh, I've got the big ship. This is the big at sea. So I'm going to put it down here in the corner. I like it. And this says, uh, ship of dreams. So we'll, ah, I'm throwing it. Ship of dreams. Let's just put that right there. And, oh, I've got the anchor stamp. So I'm going to put it over here. And, oh, let's do, let's do, I got the anchor. Here it is. It's kind of a compass. I, I, that's what I call it, is a compass. So I'm going to put that on here. Maybe like here. Like that. Kind of gives a little decoration in the corner. And then... We've got anchors away. And we'll put that, let's put it right here in the middle. And I happen to see on my desk a little curly swirly. So I'm going to put, I think it's okay. Kind of gives a different flair to it. We don't use it very often in the journal. So one or two little times would be okay. All right, three pages made. You like that? Oh, making a stencil out of that kind of stamp design. You know, I might be able to do that. I'd have to break it up a little bit so that the stencil would turn out right. I'll have to look at that. Because I'll enlarge it and draw it. Okay, so... We made three, four pages so far. What time is it? 4.52. Okay. Oh, here's a page I made. So I took elements from the kit 
and the map that I happen to have. I stamped the atlas in the background and then I did voyage and explore. And looking at this map, I just got an idea that I want to try. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can do it. And then just use the same little leftover bits over here. All right, so I've got some pieces here. I don't know if I'll use all of it, but I'm going to get it out. I decided not to spend all of my time today really designing the pages completely out. I wanted to have some spontaneity to it. So I hope you like the idea. We need a dolphin stencil. Oh my goodness. You like how everything looks on the blue paper? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's a great paper. That's why I wanted this color scheme. <laughs> Oh, layers, some blue paper underneath the stamp ship. Well, I've already done it. It's gone. <laughs> but you could. Alrighty. So I've still got a few little elements left here. So I'm just going to set those to the side. This time, I have a map page. I've got a few elements here. Okay. So what I'm going to start with is I've got these two little strips and I'm going to put those one on this side and one on this side to create some writing space right off the bat. So I'm going to take these two pieces and lay them in my spray box and you like the mat. The mats are fun, aren't they? Okay. And let's do the, this is from the, April Stencil Club. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. It would be so much easier to do it this way. Jeez, Linda. Make it hard on yourself. <laughs> Alright, so this is from the April Stencil Club. So I'm putting it on top. And I think... What do I want to use? Oh, you know, I haven't used the red yet. I'm going to use some red. Let's see what we end up with. We haven't put any red in this one. All right, I'm going to use a scrap of paper to mop that up. I could use a book page, another map. All right. So there's the mop up side. And then here's our page pieces. What do you think? A little, little color there. So that'll go on there. So I'll go ahead and apply some Distress inks to the edges. All right. Oh, you may not be you might not be live, Sandra, if it's not working. The old maps are fun, aren't they? All right, so I'm adding some Distress ink. I'm holding it closer to me because my back starts to hurt if I push my hand all the way out. I think you guys understand what I'm doing. <laughs> if not, speak up in the chat. All right, so I think I'm going to put those here and here. So let's go ahead and glue those down. That way I know that I've got what I want, where I want it. Yeah, that's the technical terms. Get what you want. Is it? I you don't always get what you want, but you get what you need. <laughs> I don't know that song very well, so I shouldn't be singing it. <laughs> yeah, people don't use red. A lot of people don't use red, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to use red. Okay. So I've got that over here, and I've got four sides still to put something on. I found in my stash, I have um, I have some paint chips. We could use those. I've got uh, I got some scraps of blue paper have some more scraps of paper. 
So I'm just going to see how do I want to do something. Do I want to um, basically I could kind of repeat the pocket here and here. Maybe this one will go over this side like that. And we could, um, oh, let's make a, make something with that. I've got those pieces. Oh, let's get a little piece of map. So I've got a piece of map here. I'm just going to rip it. And then probably about that size. And then I'm going to go about like that about like that okay and then I want to grab the other atlas stamp and I'm going to grab some of this blue paper that I had earlier and we're going to stamp on the edge here so I'm just going to rotate this so I can stamp this. So if you don't have a map book page, you could stamp it on colored paper and then you get that map look. I'm going to go ahead and rip it. Should have come in from the edge just a little bit more and then I would have easier time ripping the edge all right so I'm going to use pieces of this on here so oh, about like that okay so we've got these pieces that we're going to put down and I started with him earlier. I could stamp another. Are y'all with me on here? I got it up too far, maybe. Yeah, B stencil. Yeah, yeah. I I've, I've been asked. I've got to design it. Hey, Diana. Uh, Diana, thanks for being here. Yeah, we have an acorn stencil. All right. I like R Captain Ron. So how about, ooh, that's the lookout. So let's do that one. I've got some ivory cardstock here. Yeah, look at that print. Okay. I'll fussy cut this out and we'll use that. All right. What is it now? It's like it's night. It's so dark. It's been dark here all day. I guess because of the weather, it's the cloud cover has kind of been just out there everywhere. The doom and the gloom of the clouds. <laughs> And I didn't really get to go out much today because I was working on getting everything ready for the live stream. And I went out to walk right around 3 o'clock just for a few minutes. And it was sprinkling. And I was like, well, my hair is already a mess, but I don't want to make it worse. <laughs> are the maps vintage? No, these are from an atlas. They're just from a book that I picked up at the library sale so it's like a world atlas but you could get maps from you know your local usually tourist attraction and there's a few places online that you can just google search um, maps city maps or state maps free and usually each state has a website that you can put in for their uh, Tra travel tourism department. I'm sure, what is it called? Tourism department will send you a little goodie pack. I usually try to stop at our um, travel center.
whenever we go out of town, the tourist center. Thank you, Terry, for your donation. All right, so there we've got the lookout. I think we're going to distress ink that. And I'll kind of come in on the edges a little. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then that'll go there. All right, so let me put some distress inks on these guys. Yeah, like a travel, not necessarily a travel agency. I don't know if you have that where you are. Um, each city usually has like a chamber of a chamber hall or a chamber of commerce. And so they're all about the tourism of their town. And if you contact them and ask them for brochures or maps of the city, they'll usually send you a goodie pack out. Okay. Yeah, rest stops on the highways, Manda says, they usually have state maps. That's where I'm talking about those travel centers, the tourist centers, like welcome to the state of, and you go in there and so they have information about the state. I always try to pick up a map every time I go. I do not have a Sunray stencil. I have started to do one. I'm still tweaking it because I don't like the way it's looking. But maybe I'm a little super critical. <laughs> and I just need to make it. All right. I think these two pieces need a little bit of texture in the background. So let me find my, what I do with it? Seriously, Glenda. Oh, well, I'll just get another sheet of paper. So I'm going to stamp the map again, the atlas again. Went to Hobby Lobby, a lot of empty spots. New tourism. Yeah, Barb says, I go just go online and request tourism packets. Yes, perfect. When I talk to my friend who works for Hobby Lobby, um, she says it's been like seasonal sales, as if it was Christmas time. There you go, information system. Yeah, we see you now, Sandra. All right, so we've got these two pieces. I'm going to glue this down, and then this and where it go. I may swap this like that and then like this. Yeah, okay. Glue it down, glue it down. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd love to have your support that way. All right, so I'm going to put the blue paint chip there. Then I'm going to glue down this green piece. You haven't been since before Christmas? Well, I've only been twice since they reopened here in Oklahoma. And both times I went there because of the employee. I wanted to say hi to her, see how she was doing. The last time I just bought three bottles of paint, it was on sale. Yeah, I'm using the Out to Sea kit today, Terry. You'll see more of that in just a moment. I was trying to do all the rubber stamping part right now. All right, I think I like that. Doo, doo, doo. So I'm making a pocket. What do you think? Like that? And then let's do this one. This could be a second pocket if you wanted to, but I didn't want to have to fight the other pieces of paper. Okay, we got this, this, this way, and Captain Ron. Yeah, okay. I think this time I've got the word captain out here somewhere. I've got to find it. We'll stamp that. And I'm okay if the map's upside down. <laughs> you just you got to turn it around. I'm going to put him on there. 
like so. And then I think, what did I do with it? Did I leave it over here? No. It must be right here in front of me. But of course I can't see it. I don't know where it went. But after the stream, I'm sure I'll find it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I actually put it back where it was supposed to go. All right, so I've got a little scrap of paper here. I'm just going to stamp the word captain. And then we'll cut this down. Use some distress inks on it. All right, so then we'll put captain right there. So we've got Captain Ron. Here we go. What do you think? So these are going to go here. So I'm going to make these into pockets. Last week I showed y'all that you could add a tip in, another piece of paper that would flip out that you could write on. You could also adhere a piece of paper up there for writing and journaling. I need to look to see how much more I need to make. Okay. So, I have, okay, I have one more page. So, this is going pretty good. All right, I was worried that I was taking too long. Cheesy Captain Ron from Wisconsin. <laughs> Enter the raffle if you haven't already. Ooh. Okay. cleaning my hands. Thank you, Margie, for your donation. Y'all spoiling me rotten. All right. <clears throat> I got that glued down. Stuff fell down. Oh, yeah. I want to use these two things. I'm going to go ahead and use these on here. Okay, and then we've got these two done. So now we need to decorate this side with something, and I think I have an idea. And I need to make some journal cards. I've got some blank journal cards. I do have these little pieces if y'all want me to adhere one down for more writing space. And then I've got some journal cards here that I had left over. So I think we can decorate them a little bit. No, because there's cheese. <laughs> All right. The winner of the journal card. So this journal card right here is Kristen Hamilton. Congratulations, Kristen. You won the journal card with the fishy. All right, let's reset it. Go okay. And this one is uh... All right. So now we're going to give away this Anchors Away journal card that I made Thursday on the live stream. I made four journal cards like this uh seam uh out the sea themed and I used the chipboard pieces and some rubber stamps and a gel print and some cheesecloth. <laughs> so I'm going to give that away to one lucky winner. So go ahead and enter the raffle if you haven't already. All right. I want some tuck spots on this side. We've been making the traditional little pocket, right? Like we did over here. We could do a corner type thing. I have some scraps here. 
So what if we were to um, kind of collage out a little piece? Need something else behind there, but if we did those, I've got this little piece of blue. Is that enough? Not quite, but we're getting there. I'm going to, I'm trying to just use up things that I have in my stash already. What if we were to use some craft? What if we were to use some craft? So if we were to put that there, that kind of gives us a nice little contrast. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip it. Okay, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. All right, so that's going to go over there. And there's not enough of this one, so I'm going to do it again. All right, how are we doing, everybody? <laughs> I don't usually do a lot of this um, collaging. I wanted to use a little bit more than I have in a long time. Okay, so I like that so far, color-wise and texture. Like that. And I'm going to rotate this around. Like that. All right, so now we need a focal image on here. I've got this ship and I've got some paper. Let's try that. Let's see how this looks. Doing the stamping the ship on the craft and then I'll cut it out. I can put that on this side. We can put a little cheesecloth on here again. <laughs> Uh, are y'all still with me or am I just talking to myself now? Uh, I'll look at the screen now. Pockets, 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 pockets. Double or triple. Gotcha. Double. Yeah, it could be. I could add another uh, layer in here. Just cutting out paper, kind of like paper dolls. Okay. What if we put that on top? Maybe even a little bit of cheesecloth. Okay. Um, I could get a book page, maybe. That went there. Okay, I'm going to get, let's get a Bible page. Because what I want to do... Is basically extend out these two pieces of paper and make a second pocket because if I try to glue all this down it's not gonna quite well maybe it won't be all right and I don't think I like that nope okay never mind all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these layers together so I'm gonna take the mat piece and glue this little blue right on top of it. I need to do the distress ink because I forgot. I think it's okay because part of this is going to be covered up anyway. Do the distress ink on here. You take you you miss something. <laughs> uh. 
Oh no! Oh no! The art glue, the pen that goes down into the glue. Okay, I think that will go on there. Yes, okay. So I'm going to put down some glue. Put this on top. Can you not use a straight pen? I mean, I think the straight, some people say some, you have to have a stainless steel pen or something. Pen? pen? All right, and then I'm going to glue this piece together. All right, so I glued those together, and I'm going to add some Distress Ink on here. I'm trying to decide what texture do I want around the edges on this one. I think I'm going to get out the, um, I got this coral stamp, so let's use it. Must be stainless steel. Okay, that's why I thought it has to be stainless steel. I'm using the fan from the lobster, fan and lobster, lobster and fan. I don't remember which way it is. But I think I like this texture that it puts. I don't know why I'm going all the way over my arm to stamp that. All right, so look there. And I'm just going to glue across this side and this side. So it's going to make a second tech spot. Okay. All right. I'm going to set that aside a moment and let's work on this guy. I'm going to stamp around that outside edge. I'm going to move this over here. <laughs> going over my arm like that. It's hard. So we'll put the stress inks on these pieces and then layer it up. Lay my block on there for now. Okay. So that's going to go over here. So let's add the stress inks on these pieces. It's truly live. She may not, I, I know they have issues getting Amazon in Australia. Yeah, I have to look online, see who's got them. I hate it when you have something that you love and then something happens to it. That's what happened to a paper cutter that I just adored. It was my favorite paper cutter. It was a Carl cutter and... I've had like four or five of them because I love them so much. Well, they stopped making the design that I liked. And the new design, it sucked. I hated it. It did not work for me. And so I ended up buying, you know, I kept going through paper cutters trying to find one that was okay to use. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to do, is that how we did the other one? Yeah, I just kind of collaged it together. So I'm going to glue this down the edge, put it right here, and then we're going to glue these together. So put it right here. And we'll have to use some more cheesecloth. Okay, so now I get a little cheesy, cheesy cloth. Yeah, I, and I haven't I haven't tried any of the new curls in a while, but um, I'd like to. I just gotta wait till I have enough money. Yes, it was a rotary type cutter. It was my favorite. I every time I would find them in a store, I would buy them. I had all the replacement cutter cartridges. I still have some of the cartridges that fit it. <laughs> Uh, I think in my stash. I may have them up there on my uh, hanging thing. 
I, I was sad when it quit working. What am I doing on purpose? Okay, so I think I'm going to put that right there. So I'm just going to glue down this side and the bottom again so it'll be in a second tuck spot. Like that. All right, I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> I got to use that cheesecloth. I have a whole stack of it. I got to use it. Glue that over here. Then we'll glue this one over here. Alrighty. All right, let's see what I got left over here. I've got these little things. What if we were to um, do a strip? I'll put that on here. I think this way. That'll make a journal card. How about that? So I'm going to trim it off. I think this is a three inch by, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a quarter inch. I kind of like that. So I'm going to add some distress inks. And I think we need to stamp the background here. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm trying to use it. I'm trying to use all the stuff I have. I, got, I still have a little bit more. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. We got this in this. Maybe if we go out the side. I think we need to do the map stamp in the background. Could also do the roster again, but I think I want the map. Well, maybe I'll get the map. I'm not standing up, so I'm not getting a good impression. There we go. That's better. Got a little texture on there. So now when we put this on, it has a cool background to it. That's from the kit. You really like the lighthouse? Isn't it pretty? Thank you. You like the layering? Thank you, Norella. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you make it easy with your images. So I can layer up and add my own touches. You know, you can just use the kit the way that it is, or you can add your own touch into the different journal cards and tuck spot elements. That's what I think is fun because even though we may all have the exact same kit, we do different things. All right, so that's going to go right there. And then I've got this little short card that I'm going to put here. I'm going to put one over here. I've got another one of these. What else do I have here? I have, um, oh, I've got some more rubber stamped images, or I could stamp directly on here. Let's stamp on there. You know, I did this little cute thing earlier where I stamped the little ship and then I stamped the water below it and I made a little scene. So I'll kind of do a quick version of that. I've got my Distress Oxide, kind of a yellow. So I'm just going to go behind there, make it a little bit of a yellowy sky. 
put that one away. I'm going to take a little bit of the carved pumpkin. Okay. I already have the Mermaid Lagoon out. So I'm going to fill in. And then I'm just going to kind of come in below. And I'm just barely touching the brush to the pad. And then I just touch the water. You see that? See how quick it is to make a car? Now you can go even more complicated and make a mask and make a true sun shape. You could stamp these out on uh, the ship out on another piece of paper and layer it up. made journal cards like that yeah isn't it crazy how the ink could just make a big difference all right so I need to put some journal cards in here I've got these two that we could use okay and I've got some short squares I don't know I think oh I've got these guys so let's do that let's cut these out I'll just do um, one of each, and we'll make a little scene on our card. So this is part of the sails set. I think there's four different sailboats, and I was going to have these all fussy cat out beforehand, but I thought I was doing pretty good at finding a piece of paper to stamp it. <laughs> Well, you can see it doesn't take too long and you don't have to be precise. I think it's okay. It's a little forgiving. Thank you, Robin. I guess you said you like something that I did. What's one of your favorite techniques that you like to use in your journals? Is it uh, using a stencil? Is it using rubber stamps? You prefer fussy cut elements? What do you prefer? I'm going to put some distress inks on that as soon as I find my dauber that has rolled away. What, are th what is the name of the things you put your stamps on? You're talking about the um, easy, let's see, what is it? Uh, dang it. Their um, stamp, not pocket, stamp pages, cling mount pages. They are storage sheets. They are by crafters companion if you look in my list i have a link to them in crafters companion robin i think you like the stencils with the distress inks inking unusual backgrounds yeah stamping blocks now i think she was talking about the sheets that i use the cling sheets these the cling sheets that's what she's talking about oh I forgot I had that little stamp and I forgot I had that one too okay so we've got these guys I'm gonna go ahead and put some distress inks around the corners after I round the corners I'm just gonna use the cropper dial corner rounder pockets you like the variety of techniques okay I'm glad you like them gel prints and stamps yeah I mean, it's just fun to kind of play around and come up with techniques and ideas. I think, what if we, I got another map page piece. Okay, so what if we were to do something like that? Let me go the other way. 
put some distress inks on those and it'll stand out a little better. Cutting up uh, old images. Yeah, yeah, spray inks. Okay, so we got that and that. I think we need to add some distress inks to the edges here. I think maybe we need another texture on top of this card. Love doing lots of things. Die cuts and embossing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, welcome, Kay Grace. If you're watching, so glad to have you here. Say hi in the chat. Okay, so now we've got this piece and this piece and this piece and this piece. But I think it needs something right around there. So how about... That might look kind of interesting. Kind of see what would be a good textural. Okay, wait about this guy. So this guy's kind of cool. It's another compass type stamp. Let me get this stamp. So I'm going to put a scrap of paper and let's get the black ink. I'm going to stamp it and rotate it. It is directional. So I'm just going to kind of Now, how does that look? Kind of gives us a whole different texture to that top part. Kind of stamping the top. All right, let's glue this down. Stamping, pocket stenciling, tags. Oh, thank you, Joanne, for joining us. Love cheesecloth and doilies. Yeah, yeah. I like using my stamps and gel prints. The stencils. Being able to add the patterns to pages is a lot of fun to me. I wanted to show y'all different ideas here. So we use some of the, the printed materials, the kit, and we use some rubber stamped images. Use some maps right there. I'll put this in here. So we've got layers. Okay, so we have the pockets here. We had a pocket over here. And this flipped out. All right, let's make another page. Oh, make a cool steampunk journal. Well, I guess it could, yeah. It could blend with the steampunk. All right. I'm going to make this page. This will go really fast. I hope. <laughs> I already had some cheesecloth in here. I've got the stencil from the uh, kit. So this is the other stencil in the kit. i got a couple of cards here. And I think what I want to do right off the bat is I've got two journal cards that I made. I'm going to lay those in here. I'm going to use the stencil from the kit. And let's use the out to sea. It's a blue. It's going to leave a little speckled. I'm going to go ahead and come back in with deep sea. It's a bit of a teal color. All right. And then let's grab, let's grab a piece of paper. Mop up. Oops. Kind of touched it. There we go. I think this is my favorite color set. 
Isn't that pretty? With that shuttle, subtle blues and green. And then there's the cards. I went ahead and did distress inks around them. All right, I'm going to dry these. I thought these might be some fun images to put on here. And I didn't get them cut out because I wanted y'all to see that I was using them from a book page. But I am going to look real fast and see if there's one I like better. Let's see. I might like that one better. I think I'm going to do this one instead. So I'm just going to trim this guy out. What if we were to put that on here? Kind of like what I did before with the other journal card that I showed you using the images out of this book and you get these random fish images in your kit I thought it would be fun to do it so that's why I I found these books and I thought oh I know these are like for aquarium uh, 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 aquarium fish aquariums or you know it's describing in nature but I thought they would be a lot of fun all right, so now I've got, I've got some map here. So, uh, thank you, Barb, for your donation. Thank you so very much. All right, what if we put that right here? And I've got a piece up here. Let me change this. I ripped it too much, so maybe like that. Okay. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's do some distress ink. You was thanking you was thanking me for your donation. I realized you were way behind. <laughs> uh, the fish are fun, aren't they? Thanks, Lori. I thought that would be fun because you got a couple of pages that you could cut up and make journal cards out of them. You know, use use the supplies you have and see what you can come up with. You know, add your map, add your journal cards that you probably already have laying around or a brochure from someplace. Maybe a fishing brochure would be a good one too. All right, let's put that down. The Canadian dollar is worth 54 cents in the U.S. right now. Wow. That's crazy. You like the fish or love the fish, Julie? Thank you. Okay. Let's glue it down on the page today. Just using all the scraps. And then we'll put that on top. Okay, so this is going to go here. And then, and then, we are going to use some stumping. I've got the shabby stitches. This is the three lines. And I'm just going to make a frame around the fish like that and I'll repeat okay all right so we got those two I did have some other elements. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, I still do. These are some fussy cut anchors that I made. So what if we were to use those? I think like that. 
And we've got some cheesecloth. That can go behind there. I like that. And I think we need a sentiment or something, right? Some kind of saying. How about um, explore or discovery? Let's use discovery. And I have another strap. I'm trying to use up all of this. You lost one of your shabby stitches, Robin. Oh, no. It's easy to do. I stick stuff in the wrong place. I have misplaced um, the dragonfly from my garden friend's stamp set. I need to beg Beverly to give me a, a dragonfly again because I used it a lot. I'm just trimming this down just a little bit. I could have ripped it. So what if we to put discovery like that? Y'all see that? I kind of got a mess going on here. Just a little bit messy. You hate fussy cutting? I don't like to do a lot of fussy cutting personally. Uh, but I find that when I need an element, if I do a bunch of them up, so I just stamped like eight of these anchors <laughs> today and then just quickly fussy cut them out all at one time, I'm done with it and I can stick it in a little bin beside me and use them as I come to them. All right. I think on the others, I did use some of the cheesecloth. So I'm going to cut a couple of little pieces here. I'm going to put the cheesecloth behind the word discovery. All right, so let's glue this all down. So I wanted y'all to see how I constructed the cards. And although you can't really see the stencil that much, I, I know it's there. And I like the subtle pattern it puts on the page. All righty. I don't know. We we're, we're talking about it. We have to have I think it's like $150 or $200 to design a new um red rubber plate. It's for pressing red rubber. And so we really have to commit to making a bunch of designs and that's what's kind of held us back is to come up with all the designs. Does that make sense? <laughs> and I haven't learned how to use the laser yet to do laser rubber stamps yet. Like that. Okay. So it didn't take me too long and I made two. I find that, I don't know, making two at a time is so much easier for me. All right, I'm going to lay these aside with a block on them to help squish those together while I make the rest of the page. Okay. So these are elements from the kit, this pocket and this other tuck spot. And a couple of the journal cards from the subscription box, you get the word search in the kit. So I think all I'm going to do is just glue these down. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated. If I can spend some time sitting there watching a bunch of tutorials for the rubber stamping making with our machine, what, what I have to do on my image and I have to save it to my computer a certain way and then I have to tell it to print a certain way, get the settings for the laser right. I just haven't sat down to learn all of that yet. I'm too busy creating. All right, so I'm just using a piece of sheet music. I just glued these on the same side. I'm going to flip it over. This is a gel print that I cut 
into a one and a quarter inch strip. And then I have a one and a half inch strip of cardstock behind there. And I was trying to decide, do I want the tickets or do I want the ships? And I think I like the ships better. And I put a little strap. Let's see. How's that? Just a little pop right behind there. I could also use a book page maybe, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of layer it like that. And I think we need to stamp on it. I'm hungry, y'all. I just realized I didn't eat lunch today. I was too busy in here creating. Okay. Let's do... Here it is. The roster looking one. I like that text. Now let's do some distress ink on here. You like that page? Well, thank you, Joanne. You finally found your all, all about Romans. Yay! Ships, you like those better than the tickets? Okay, good. Oh, thank you, Robin. You like how I just take a page and make it work for a junk journal? Well, that's what you can do. It doesn't matter what you use. How do you wary for someone like on the song? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Just, oh, oh, worrying. Worrying. That's what it is. Just the worrying for you all the time and feeling blue. Wishing for you. Wondering when you'll be coming home again. Restless, don't know what to do. Just a worrying for you. <laughs> Just a worrying. I guess you, you could probably do that too. Just a worrying. Like this, you know, it's just a swinging. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, uh, John Andrews? John Anderson? Okay, I like that. Let's just glue these together. Glue them down. Glue them down. All right. And then we'll do this one. And then. I think that was upside down. So I'm going to flip it. <laughs> All right. And then we'll put that in the middle. Southern dialect. Just a worry on Worrying. <sighs> Some people think when you purchase a kit, you don't use anything, but what's in the next in the kit is so weird. <laughs> You're supposed to use other things. All right, we'll use we'll glue this down. Laksu. And we'll glue this one down. <laughs> I wonder if I move if you move here if you'll get the accent with the Chicago draw. <laughs> I think that would be hilarious, Robin. <laughs> Depends how long you stay. Depends how long you stay. Okay. I like that. Let's flip this over. Okay. We made two journal cards. So we're going to use those. So these guys, I'll put these in here because they're a bigger card. Flip this over. And then the fishies, I'll put it this way. Can go over here. And I think 
one of these I wanted another journal card I think this one I think what I'll do is we'll make these into a quick journal card I'm going to add some distress inks on here and I'm going to use these tickets use the tickets She will say y'all in no time. That's exactly right. You want a song lyric in someone's handwriting. It is six words and I have old letters that include the words. Oh, cool. Yeah, if you have old, so you would, we would have to crop each word in order to put it together. Is that what you're wanting, Amanda? You may need to message uh, Norella. Okay. What if we were to put, do I want to put it like that, maybe? Maybe even, I got a couple of scraps here. Kind of make it like it's a tab. Well, this one might be bigger. I'm trying to find one that fits. Fits my needs. Okay, go this way. Need cursive handwriting words if you have them. Oh, yeah, no, Norella has some. She said she did. I haven't gotten them out yet myself. All right, let's, I like that. Okay. Use that there. This over here. I think it needs a little texture on here. So let's use... What do I want? I have this little pin nib. Let's use the little pin nib. All right, so I'm gonna stamp all the way around the edge. I don't know, I just thought this might be kind of interesting. And then if we put this up here, like that. Link to the Curse of Worms! A film strip would make a good stencil, yeah? How would you use it? Oh, the cursive words are in code because the youngins can't read it. <laughs> it cracks me up that they don't teach cursive anymore. If I had learned cursive, I might have better handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> all righty I think I like that just a, a quick way to use up some of the stuff that I have here asparagus no it's a uh, it's a pin nib you're here now Austin you came back I hope you didn't run too hard it's a pin nib a writing pen. It's a pen nib. <laughs> With your quality settings randomly changing, that's not good.
Change it back to HD. You're, you're a fan of using stamps on the edges of elements? Yay! I'm glad you like that, Robin. It's a great way to just add a different texture. Okay. So then, what I do with that page? I wanted some cards to go in here. There. All right, I'm gonna clean a few things back off my desk here. I may use this stamp. stamp. A little scraps of paper here. We're now ready to put this journal together, y'all. I'm going to get out all the pages, and we're going to get the last page that I want to show y'all that I made. So this was another book page that I had, and I used a gel print to make a pocket. And this is from the kit. This is from the kit as well. Here I used one of those tear-off pages, and then the... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, coral from the fan and lobster set. And then here's another stamp journal card with the fishies. So I wanted y'all to see that. A belly band that I made out of the gel print. And basically I did the same thing on this side. I didn't make a card. I used one from the kit. From the kit. And then in the kit you get a lighthouse. You get the um, portal and you get a ship's helm. And on Thursday, I showed y'all how to make journal cards, so I thought I would include one in the kit here. Okay, and then we've got the pages. All right, so now what we're going to do, is we're going to take the kit and fold it up. So this is the cover that you can get as a printed in the subscription box or you can get as a digital download. I do have both now in my shop. So that'll be the cover. And then here are the pages that comes in the subscription box. You get three printed sheets. They'll be printed on eight and a half by 11 with a laser printer. It's a heavier paper. This was printed on my inkjet here at the house. So that's one page set. Here's another with a lighthouse and the ship and the red ship. And the seagulls are, are those the seagulls? Or are they sandpipers? And then this one has some seahorses and crab and a ship. And then this one has a little fishy and a seahorse. I'm going to fold this one in half. You like the cover? Thanks, Robin. I'm glad you like it. I think Norella did a great job in designing this. Okay, so we got my pages out here. I think I want that to be my first page. And how about this copy paper page? Now, do I want this for the center? Yeah, I think I want this one for the center because it's just cool how it turned out. I've got the music page. I think that would look good coming from in there. So that'll be next. One, two, three, four, and let's do five with the printed kit. So now I'm just kind of looking to see. All right. So I just kind of alternate them out the way that I think I want them laid out in my journal. And then I'm going to start putting these together. So let's, um, let's do the last raffle right now. So if you haven't joined the raffle, please do so. You're so excited for this kit, Robin. Yay, I'm so glad. You love the pages you print? Yeah, I love the pages. They're a great job. I really love how they come out. The, the orange is like a sunset over the ocean. Yeah, for sure. You like that? Isn't that gorgeous? Very impressed, Robin. Yay! 
Yeah, I had to keep prompting Norella with information about what I was looking for. I said, not beach. Think mariners and ship captains and the Titanic and the the lore of mermaids, you know. But we all want it more masculine. And then once I explained that to her, she sat down with her husband and she got some more ideas from him. So it was kind of fun. All right. So let's do the raffle. Did y'all get in on the raffle? So we're going to be giving away this journal card that anchors away. So enter the raffle, and then I'm going to give that away, and then we're going to do the actual journal. I'll flip through it, and that's how we'll end the show. Okay? I'll give you a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to pick up the pages and put them in the journal. I like the variety. This blue paper that just happened to come and the stack that I picked up. All right. Everybody get entered in the raffle. So I showed you rubber stamps stencils, layering papers, all the elements from the out or the the printed elements and a few elements that you get in the kit. And you get so much more. There's oh, well over a hundred some odd pieces. Yeah, Norella says if it wasn't for Linda, this kit wouldn't happen. I live on the beach and I kept gravitating to a beach theme. Linda had to set me straight and then her hubby jumped in and told her told her how to do it. See, it was a team effort. <laughs> it takes a village. All right, y'all get entered into the raffle. I think everybody's about in. Then I'm going to have the last raffle. The last raffle is for the uh, Out to Sea journal. And I'll also show you the planner journal. We'll give away both of those today. The only way you can enter to win is if you make a donation, any dollar amount. Then those of you that have made a donation, make sure you head over to lindaisrael.com. Create a user account so that... I'm missing a page. So that I can add you to the YouTube donator membership and you get free digital downloads. It's a fluffy journal, y'all. It may not have a bazillion pages, but it has lots of stuff. All right. So I'm going to use the pamphlet stitch and bind this together. Are you, you ready? But wait, there is more. <laughs> All right, pick a winner. Oh, yeah, I'd love to live on the beach. No ticks and wild animals there. There's different kind of things, though. Hurricanes. <laughs> All right, the winner of the um, Anchors Away journal card is Cynthia Dawson. Congratulations, Cynthia. You won the journal card. Oh, thank you, Lou, for your donation. All right, so now we're going to do um, one, uh, donators only. One out to C journal. All right, thank you so much. All right, so those of you who have donated, Robin, Mary, Cynthia, Norella, Lori, Teresa, Margie, Angela, Rhonda, Kim, Janice, Barb, Raven, Manda, Dawn, Terry, Margie, and then Barb Dingwell and Lou. Y'all are eligible. Okay. Yeah, hurricane season right around the corner, too. It's like, ooh, it'd be scary. It's kind of like we're in tornado season. Some of y'all don't know what it's like to have constant storms. <laughs> we're tough people, though. All 
I'm not really phased by them most days. It's so fluffy that my paper clip, clip keeps sliding off. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get three lengths of wax linen thread. And then I'm going to use my um, book binders and needle. I sell these in my shop if y'all ever need them. I like them because they have a small, a smaller hole for the thread so that when you're binding your journal, you don't end up making a huge hole. And my journal shifted on me. Come on now. There it goes. Because I lost my paper clip again. Because <laughs> this journal's so fluffy. Oh, thank you, Sandra, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a planner kit, Sandra. All right. All right, I'll be back on Thursday. We'll do some mixed media, some gel printing, making some journal cards and tuck spots embellishments. I don't get to spend as much time making embellishments, so I'm going to try to make a few with y'all on Thursday. Alrighty. If you've donated, make sure you get entered into the raffle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip through both of these journals to show you what they look like, and then I will call on the first winner and you can say which one that you would like if you'd like the planner or the uh, journal and I'm going to sign this one while I'm thinking about it okay alright so as you can see it's kind of fluffy it's got a little bit in there it stands up really well Oh, cool, the Raven. I look forward to seeing it. Thank you, Terry, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, fire season and bears that are scary. I can imagine, Lori. I mean, everybody has something. If they don't, it's like, okay, I want to live there. <laughs> All right, so here's the Out to Sea subscription box kit using, you know, the ticket was in the kit, the ball pen, the little char uh, uh, sequin charms were in there, the postage stamp was in there. Use rubber stamps and stencils. I like the layered effect. I hope y'all like that idea. And then, uh-oh, I glued it down too soon. It ripped. Okay. Put this down. Glue it in place. Okay. My card slid down, so it kind of stuck, but that's the word search that comes in the kit. And then this side we did the card that I made live. And then I showed you all this technique. And apparently I got two pages put together. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> back to back. I didn't mean to. I meant to disperse them. <laughs> Got a little journal card there. You get a little variety throughout the journal. Little journal card here using the ships. and I like the little flip out. And then the cards we made live. This one and this one. Stamped, stamped from the kit. Glue's in the way. Made this journal card. We got this little tuck spot here. It has a card in there. Made that little cloth stir on there. You like the page tab with the bowl pin? Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? And then this journal card. Ship of Dreams. See the ship to shore. 
I put some washi tape. This is a, another image out of the kit. And this was another book page that you get. Oh, I didn't put a card in there. We need a card. Do I have an extra? I have one of these. Let's see if that'll fit. Yeah, let's add some distress ink. And let's um let's stamp it with the boat. Kind of like up here. And then we'll do the water. Oh, thank you, Sandra, for your donation. And then that can go right there. Just simple. Just quick. Okay. Then the two printed pages that I put back to back by mistake, but that's okay. I think it look, works okay. The little tab again. So we have one at the front of the journal and we have one back here. So it kind of repeated the design. Using a piece of canvas. Jeez, I know. Mosquitoes in the summer up north. Yep. A collage there. And there we go. All right. So that is the journal. So let's flip through the planner really fast. Thank you, Julie. So this is the planner kit. I had fun. I hope you like these, seeing it. Um, you can get the subscription box. You can sign up now. It ships out on June the 15th. Tomorrow I'll have up the flip through of the kits online. I have to edit the video. I made the video, but now I need to edit. So I guess I am going to be doing business work tomorrow. <laughs> Computer work. I like the center, how this turned out. The colors. This is from the kit, the planner kit. seashells and I have all the different shades of blue well thank you and I think it'll blend with other kits that Norella has too do it with the mermaid kit all right so there's the journals we're gonna do the raffle now so if you uh, donated make sure you got in if you don't get one of these you're gonna have to make one aren't you Margie Planner is mine, Sandra says. <laughs> Love the blues, Janice. Thank you. Thank you, Lou. You love this kit. Thank you so much. Oh, you can get it as a digital download or you can get it as the physical kit. Alrighty, so let's pick a winner. Alright, the winner of the first journal, tell me which one you want. That winner is... Oh, and make sure I, everybody ended. All right, bye, Kim. Thanks for being here. Pick a winner. Sandra Lewis, you won. So I'm guessing you want the planner. <laughs> she claimed it. She claimed it. Yay, Sandra! So I'm guessing Sandra wants the planner. She likes the planner. There you go, Sandra! Alright, well, I'm going to pick the next person. Need I say, planner! <laughs> Alright, so Sandra won the planner. Congratulations! She claimed it. There it is. Alright, so the winner of the journal is... Sandra Lewis again! <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> well, congratulations, Sandra. You were a big winner. You were a big winner. <laughs> it's Sandra's day. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's hilarious, y'all. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the live stream, that it gave you some ideas. Um, you know, this is just one signature that you could make in a journal if you wanted three signatures. Look how much stuff you could put. You know, if we put these all together, how thick they would be. And I didn't even make the other two journals yet, so I got two more to make. She won both. <laughs> Uh, she's been sucking up to J Junkie Joe. Yep, yep. Yeah, she has two accounts. So she's she's logged in on her uh, iPad and her phone, I think. So she donated from both accounts. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everybody. Y'all have a great few days. I'll see you Thursday. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Hey, if you'll come back after the live stream finishes and say what you like the most about this uh, jour the journal that I made or the techniques that I sh shared or ideas that we talked about, uh, I'd love to have your feedback. That was really helpful to me to kind of see if I'm still staying on track, okay? Linda, can you do it again and choose someone else? Yes, I can, and I will do that. I'll do that. I'll pick another winner. Terry McManera, you won the other journal per Sandra. Well, that's really sweet of you, Sandra. <laughs> Hopefully, Robin got that. Terry won, and then I saw something else. Can you do it again? Oh, yeah, I got to get you the co your code, Terry. All right. I'm here. Congratulations. Terry, you won the other journal. And I have your mailing address. So congratulations. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired to create. You come back Thursday as we do some mixed media. If there are techniques that you want to see, just let me know. You know, if there's you know, a certain way of gel printing or mixed media or stamping or uh, folding a piece of paper to make an envelope, whatever it might be, just let me know. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. You're very welcome, Sandra. You're very welcome, Terry. Alrighty. Congratulations to the winners. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all are wonderful. You know, I didn't feel very good today. I've had a headache most of the day. And I come on the live and, I don't know, I just feel better. My back hurts right now. but <laughs> I did a lot of push-ups today, so I need to stretch. But uh, thank you so much for being here and supporting me. So y'all have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you, Lori. You're very welcome. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Norella. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, uh, Cynthia, for being here. I greatly appreciate y'all. Y'all have an amazing week. I'm going to get off here. Go eat some dinner. Go for a walk. <laughs> All right. Y'all take care. Lots of love to you. Bye.